Sometimes fiber lines need to be run underground in order to get your home connected to the internet. First, the boring machine is taken off of the trailer and put into place. The crew will dig out two stabilization points for the boring machine to brace itself. Supports are drilled into the sidewalk to stabilize the boring machine. The crew tapes off the area for safety. Rubble from the sidewalk is removed from the hole. Following markings and mapping, the crew digs down about three feet, staying cautious of other utilities that may be under the sidewalk. A mixture of water, mud cutter, and lubricant is added to the boring machine. This is ejected from the tip of the drill and helps with cooling, lubricating, and removing dirt from the tunnel. While the boring machine is tunneling, a sensor is used to ensure proper placement and tracking of the drill as it moves under the sidewalk. The crew then marks where the drill has bored, relays information to the drill operator, and continues tracking the drill. Lubricant is released to help cut away the dirt. A buildup of mud begins to appear in the hole. This is cleaned out by a crewman for safe disposal. The crew was able to bore a small tunnel up to 400 feet away and around wide turns. At the end of the tunnel, a spool of conduit is trucked in. This conduit will house fiber lines that will bring high-speed internet to the neighborhood. The conduit is pulled and cut to length. The ends of the conduit are tapped with large eye screws so they can be pulled back through the newly bored tunnel. Some of this conduit will be diverted, so they are marked with tape. A metal wire is run alongside the conduit, in order for the conduit to be easily found later on if work needs to be done in the area. All the conduit is attached to the hole at the end of the bit. The drill operator is radioed and told to pull the drill back in. This pulls the conduit back through the newly bored tunnel. The conduit is monitored to ensure that it does not kink, break, or become damaged in transit. The marked conduit has arrived at its termination point. A finger trap is added to the end of the marked conduit and secured to the trailer in order to hold them in place. The operator continues to pull, and the marked conduit stays in place. The rest of the conduit continues its journey to the beginning of the tunnel. Once the conduit has arrived at the end of the tunnel, so the boring machine can tunnel the next length. The crew will then coal patch the concrete area before end of day. If you'd like to know more, we have a video on cold patch application.